welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Today we'll be making some pepper steak. Now this ain't that pepper steak you get from 5th and Main. This the apron the kitchen pepper steak. This that marry me pepper steak. Put a ring on it pepper yeah. steak. So with all that being said, let's get into it. To get started, we can go over the ingredients. I'll be using some flank steak, bell peppers, onions, garlic. I have some better than bouillon. Again, I'm using this flank steak. And now to get the best tender cut of this flank steak, if you see, look at the lines and how it's running across, you want to cut against that. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it this way. And you just want to make thin slices. You want to cut against the grain. Just like that. So I have my flank steak all cut. And being that it's this long, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and slice this probably into three. Probably like about that. I can get actually four out of that. So I want them about like that size. Now while we're getting ready to season up the meat, I have some oil in my pan. I'm going to go ahead and get that um, heated up the temperature. Now we can work on seasoning up our meat. I'm using my all-purpose seasoning. And you can order that at aprilsjazzyspice.com. But if you don't have that, you can use whatever seasonings you prefer. And I'm also going to be using some some chili powder. Just get you some on there. And we're gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce. That W sauce. I use that W sauce on any type of beef dish that I'm making. I always use that. It really enhances the flavor of that beef. So you wanna make sure you get this a good mix. Make sure everything is nice and seasoned. Our meat is nice and seasoned. And now we can go ahead and add it to our oil that's over here heating up. And you wanna make sure that's nice and hot, you guys. Our pan is nice and hot. You hear that sound, that sizzle? That's what you're looking for. Go ahead and add your meat. Try not to overcrowd it, because we wanna build a crust. And if you add too much meat, it'll start to steam it. been about three minutes you guys that's what we're looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping and let the other side cook and now once the other side has turned brown probably about five minutes also you want to go ahead and remove it from your pan and now if you're having to do two batches like me and if it looks like you need to add a little bit more oil go ahead and do so now, as for our cornstarch slurry, I have about a cup of water, and I'll be using about a tablespoon or so of the better than bouillon. Now, if you don't have this better than bouillon, you can always use the beef cubes. And then now I'm going to add in some Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon or so, then about two tablespoons a cornstarch, then you want to get out a mix. Okay, now once all our meat is done, I'm going to go ahead and add in my minced garlic. I did six cloves. Y'all know how I love my garlic. I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed in. I'm going to cook this for about a minute. It's going to be nice and fragrant. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my bell peppers. And I use the red and green, but whatever colors you want to use in yours, that's fine. And I cut mine like this, but if you want to slice, just do it however you prefer. Then add in an onion. Then you want to go ahead and get it a good mix. Now I like my vegetables, vegetables to still be crunchy, so I will only cook this for about a minute. But if you would like your veggies to be a little bit more cooked, 
by all means do so as your kitchen you need to make it however your family or you like it now I'm gonna go ahead and add in our slurry that we made go ahead and get that nice and mixed in that's gonna become nice and thick it smells so good in here you guys look at that nice and thick now you want to go ahead and add back in your meat then you want to go ahead and mix your meat in look at that you guys now once that gravy thickens for you you can go ahead and cut that heat off look at that you guys look how delicious pepper steak for dinner tonight yes indeed now y'all know I can't leave y'all without giving y'all that first bite Let's get some bell pepper on here, some onions. Let's get into it. Take a bite. Look at that, you guys. Pepper steak for dinner tonight. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Leave a comment. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you have that set to all. And subscribe for the deliciousness. Y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.